Welcome back, second graders, for your 10th week of distance learning. Oh my gosh. Um, again, I am Mrs. Miller, the math coach at Miles Jones Elementary School. And this week, the SOL that we will be working on is ordinal numbers. So our learning target for today is I can count and identify the ordinal, ordinal position using an ordered set of objects. Okay, that's great. But what is ordinal? And just in case, what are objects? Well, objects is easy. Objects are just things. And we're going to use some real things. And then we're going to look at also some pictures of some things or objects. But what about ordinal? Hmm. This week, we are going to learn exactly what an ordinal number is. The numbers that we are most familiar with are cardinal numbers. So those are just the numbers that have value. One, two, three, four, five. But this week, let's talk about ordinal numbers. So just to know why you might need them, let's say that you're at the library and you're looking up on the shelf and you see several books on the shelf, but they are high up on the shelf. And you can't really read the title, but one of them looks really good to you. So you say to your librarian or your media specialist, I would like to see the fourth book. And she's like, okay, I would love to get it down for you. But the fourth book from which direction? So then you can tell that this is a blue book. So, and it's the cat in the hat, if you can tell. So you say, I would like the fourth book starting from the cat in the hat. So if this one is the first, the second, the third, this one is the fourth. And then she takes it down and you are so excited because she picked exactly which book you wanted. Let's say that you are at a store and you're looking for something like this. And there's a stack. And you want to tell the person working that you want one of these you can't just use the color because some of them are the same color. I see two greens, I see two pinks, the purple is sort of close to the pink. So you say, I would like the third one. Well, you have to make sure you tell them the third one from the top or the third one from the bottom. So let's see, if we said, I would like the third one from the bottom, then you would say, this is the first, this is the second. This one is the third one, which would be different than if you said I would like the third one from the top, because then you would say this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. So as you can tell, we use ordinal numbers all the time. And this week we get to dive a little bit deeper into exactly what they are, into how to write them how to spell them when they're written out in words, how to identify them and to count using ordinal numbers. So check out the video and then we'll do our practice set together. 